On March 4th this year, the game changed forever in the new era of Octagon MMA as the tip sport game changer. The 1 million euro tournament was launched. 16 of the best welterweights, eight from within the promotion, eight of the best welterweights from around Europe gathered in Ostrava to vie out for their share of the 1 million euro. Let's just touch on two Octagon stars, people that we know, uh, Cosma and Lahore. Hearts were in mouths. Hearts were in mouths at the end of the, uh, the third round when Siviac almost got the rear naked choke. I was well known that he will try in the first round, but in the end they changed the tactic and Siviac tried in the second round to put everything on the line, yeah, to, to give everything what he's got and he was really close. He was really close to finish Cosma. Cosma says to me, nah, nah, yeah, like always, like fighters, yeah. No, no, it was not even close, yeah. <laughs> I, I feel it, but it was, was nothing special. But we we all know that it was really close. And Kuzma was after just four months when he lost the title for the very first time. He lost in the octagon for the very first time. And you never know if those champions will bounce back because once the title is gone and uh, the new life's coming, some champions, and it's not uh, like just uh, sometimes, it's quite often that uh, the champions never bounce back. Because long time champions got something special, sure. but then you lose it. And Cosma, he was fighting through it the whole three rounds. He somehow did it. I think he won two to one, but it was really, really, really close Split one. Split decision. Yeah. And he's coming here now. I believe, to prove again to the people why he should be the champion and why he deserves a shot against the title again. Great, right, Lahore against Kristofic. Well, for me, I think Lahore at welterweight makes sense and he's a very dangerous guy. At middleweight, I never liked him at middleweight. I always thought, what are you doing? You're not a middleweight, you're a welterweight and you're a very effective one. And that's what he needs. He needs, especially in the fight that he's got next, he needs self-belief because he can do it. He can beat Cosma. But he needs to believe himself and he needs to come out swinging and, and show those hands that he's got because he has power at world weight. He has that knockout you know, ability. So for me, I feel like, like you said, he's starting to believe, really believe in himself. And if he can do that and he can carry that self-belief through to fight Cosma, we could see something special. But for me, it's got to be special. To beat Cosma, he's going to have to do something very, very special.